short and along the ground. De Paul being egged on by the crowd. Rodrigo De Paul. It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay with us, you won't miss a minute of action right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks and leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris between the posts. You, Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. And up front, Karim Benzema plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. <laughs> and now they get the ball rolling. Can they create something from here? Messi. Oh, breezing past him. Can they keep it out? Well, they can keep possession now. Well, it's impossible to have Lionel Messi in the starting lineup and not talk about what he does so well. Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot in him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1. Oh, look at this, Stuart. An opportunity. Reading it well. And an effective clearance. Rabio. Given away by Rabio. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. And the press is on. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986. Runners up in 1930, 1990 and eight years ago in 2014. Are they going to do it here in 2022? What a big night for them. Well, it's a massive night. And when you talk about World Cup finals, I oh, always Oh, opportunity go here, Stuart. Oh, yes! First to score in this final. And it could be highly significant.
Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So France get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how they're going to react to the setback. Strong play here. And France pushing forward with options available. Mbappe. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Superb block. Benzema! Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Taken short. Really good block. Upa Meccano. Now Griezmann. Baba. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Well, as you can see, Argentina have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here. But that won't bother them, because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. And a bit more defending on their minds here, I think. Griezmann, he succeeds in clearing it. France moving the ball forward, what can they do from here? This could level it. Oh, goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Nicely timed tackle. And using his strength to shield the ball. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Griezmann. Magnificent defending. It's a Mendy. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. 
Lionel Messi and giving the ball to the opposition that time Martinez could it be Alejandro Gomez oh there it is there's the goal that gives them the lead just what they wanted Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. And into the last 20 minutes. Karim Benzema. Rabio, Hernandez, Mbappe! Oh, a smart stop. So a personnel change then. <laughs> Whipped in by Griezmann. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Genduzzi. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Now well, Molina. Can they nudge in front late on here? A disappointing end to the move. Gendouzi. Mbappe. Benzema waiting. It comes to nothing in the end. Marcos Acuna. Martinez. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. And given away. Teo Hernandez. It's with Martinez. Intense pressure. France doing well to regain possession. Martinez takes on the shorts. Strong hand on that one. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Di Maria. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here.
Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. Good strength to keep the ball. Mbappe. Top class defending. Martinez. Rodrigo de Paul. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Well, sometimes advantage just doesn't work out. And the referee has awarded a free kick now. Short and along the ground. De Paul. Being egged on by the crowd. Rodrigo de Paul. Must take the lead here. Oh, a goal! And how important could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. underway and a glut of goals here 3-2 so two minutes to be added on at the end and there goes the final whistle for the third time in history Argentina have won the World Cup and I have to say Derek they've been the best team in the tournament there's no doubt about that Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.